Do you want to become a data engineer? Do you want to know more details on the data engineering platform? Are you looking for like what are the resources, certifications and the tools which are using into the data engineering? So in this video, I'm going to talk about complete roadmap about data engineer. Let's talk now. First, most important thing is what are the skills we need to get into the data engineering, right? So programming languages, databases, distributed systems, the cloud technologies, data warehouse and big data. Of course, ETL background. So these are the skills mostly we use into the data engineering platform. So let's talk about in detail to get more idea about it. And first thing is, in short sentence, what we can say data engineering is move and process the data. And mostly we deal with the large data sets like collecting, managing, analyzing, visualizing the data. So obviously this data engineer is going to play a big role in the data science projects. So coming to the tools, there are various tools which we are going to use it into the data engineering, but I listed only few, few of them here. You see that Kafka, Spark, Apache Airflow, those are the frameworks and uh, Azure Data Factory, Amazon, Redshift, Hadoop and Google Cloud. These are all like, cloud technologies which we can use for the data engineering and also like programming languages like Java, Python and other languages as well. And also we are going to use the structured query language to understand more onto the relational databases and everything. And I have listed few of them here, AWS Data Engineer tools. Some of them are categorized into the analytics. Also there here, like data lake, data moment. These are the some tools which we can see on my screen. So moving to the further, understanding the in-depth of the data engineering. Let's talk about one by one. Four most important thing is that data engineer most focus on to the data sources. There is a various data sources will be there. I will talk into the next slide. We'll get more idea about it. The first thing is we have the data sources and we use the ETL processing to process those entire data by using the Spark and Kafka and sending into the data lake and data warehouse. And we use maintaining these, these data lake and data warehouse, we actually maintain by using the Hadoop systems. Hadoop mainly use it for the distributed environment. So what actually we do here? Data lake is basically stores the raw data and data warehouses, which has the structure and unstructured data. And uh, once you have the whole data, we are going to use it for the business intelligence tools and giving this data to the like uh, data scientists and also DevOps engineers to place that data into the production databases. So here you can see there is a uh, three roles which we are going to play here. Data engineer role, data scientist and uh, data ops engineer. Not only these roles and there is a many roles is going to be involved. Sometimes data engineer is also going to work with the data analyst and directly with the data engineer as well. So when we consider the data science projects. So moving to the next one. Data processing, which is a very important step, right? So where, how we are processing the data here. So data will be there from the batch and streaming the data when you use the hybrid frameworks like Spark and Beam, Flink. These are all basically handle the both the batch and streaming here. So when your data is the streaming data, we use the Apache Kafka and Storms, Samja and uh, Kinesis. And if you have the data which is in the like batch type and we use the Apache Pig, Apache Arrow and data build tools which you can develop by yourself. And hybrid, these are the hybrid frameworks are supposed to both batch and streaming the data in your project. So coming to the most important thing here, data sources. So how do you get the data? So we get the data through the web services, databases, flat files and CRM tools. Web services like uh, 
So we can see here one by one we'll get more idea about it. So web services like GraphQL, REST API and databases like SQL, NewSQL and NoSQL, flat files like CSV, any other types and CRM is like Salesforce and the Microsoft Dynamic 365 Business Central. There are many sources are there. I have listed only a few of them to get an idea basically, right? So and also SAP CRM. So coming to the point here, databases. There is a various databases are there. Sometimes we may refer to the SQL databases, new SQL databases, no SQL databases, but actual classifications let's talk about now. So in-memory databases and distributed databases, active databases, graph databases, document oriented, real-time databases, cloud databases and parallel databases. More importantly, relational databases. That's where we use the structure query language. So as a data engineer, you should have the minimum knowledge on these kind of databases, which you are going to use it into the data science projects. Basically, we deal with a large amount of the data. The data is in the form of the various formats. Coming to the most important thing is the data ingestion framework. First of all, what is a data lake and where, how to use the data ingestion framework in the data lake. Data lake is something like a storage purpose. We are going, data lake is something like storing the data, like it is having the very natural and raw format data and usually object blobs that's like images like binary data are the files which we can store. The main intention of using the data ingestion framework here, the cloud agnostic solutions, meta-driven solutions and futuristic big data architecture. Basically, uh, this framework is going to help you like how you are going to process the data from the given data sources. So coming to the most important another point here, which I'm going to talk about is the data pipeline. So which is a commonly we are going to hear this. Uh, this is one of the thing most commonly we are going to um, this is one of the most important thing which we see generally in the data science projects. So data pipeline is something like input data is just transformed in the series of phases into the output data, uh, certain protocols which we are going to use and the operations like data processing and data access and data ingestion and data storage. This is a completely like uh, which we are going to use under the data pipeline. So first ingestion, data processing and storage and access the data for the like building the models, machine learning and all, so we can say like this. Data ingestion is like data sources, data processing like we use the extract and transform the data, there is a ETL comes into the picture and storage is like data lake and uh, data warehouse that is comes under the data storage here and data access is like business intelligence tools or like any other tools which we are going to use to build the models or like to create the dashboards. So coming to the last point here, coming to the point here use cases, the use cases plays very important role and use cases are like um, some of the example fields how we can use the data engineering, automate data pipelines, maintain data integrity throughout and uh, even stream processing, even stream processing messages, messaging systems and even clocks, messages, queues and change data data captures. So this is one of the use cases which I listed here and also there are many but you can try to figure out what are these. So coming to the point here, the another one is data engineering roles, right? So data engineer is the first critical and first member of the entire data science team and uh, so basically data engineer is deals with the database centric like analytical analyzing the databases and uh, pipeline centric distributing the systems and basically we worked on the distributed system and the data engineering another job is like creating the dashboards like right? it is a role of data engineer like ingesting the to the data process and everything here okay so these are the some of the roles which i listed so coming to that certifications purpose so there are many certifications are there but i have listed only repeated certifications like from the google microsoft and cloudera and amazon these are the certifications are really worth and uh, useful to that if you are going to be showcase your skills and with, with respect to the clients and the organizations to secure the job and finally i am giving the one bonus slide here so if you are looking for any data related jobs and a data stack jobs.com which is a very amazing platform you can check it out 
Coming to that, data in, the final one I can say that data engineers focus on the applications harvesting the big data. So basically data engineers works on the large data sets. So that's what we can say. And finally what I can conclude here, data engineers set up and operate the organization's data infrastructure and preparing it for the future and are further analysis by the data analysts and scientists. So data engineers is going to provide the whole data to the data analyst and data scientists to proceed on to the further analysis or building the models in the data science projects. Right. Let's talk about some of the data engineer jobs in LinkedIn profiles, okay, or LinkedIn websites. If we see that I'm actually uh, searching some data engineer jobs in Singapore and you see that uh, there are amazing jobs here and uh, solution architect in Nokia and uh, Apple, Twitter and uh, many things, Amazon, many great uh, opportunities are in the on the data engineer platform. For example, if you take the uh, Twitter here and they're actually looking for the data pipelines, understanding data warehousing, statistics and metrics development, many more things which is really going to help you. Right. So if you also go and check the uh, like, uh, for example, uh, this is different. Um, uh, the Apple is different here. For example, you see, look at here Morgan uh, McLean and you see that there, there I also expect some of the like AWS and uh, BigQuery and uh, Python or Scala. So like understanding about the data, like huge data, like how you can handle the data, how do you extract the insights and all. So this is going to help you a lot. Okay. So try to, these links already provided in the, the group description. Um, so these links are already provided into the video descriptions. So you can check that, you will get more ideas. Let me show you the data engineer entire roadmap from the GitHub source. Okay, already I've given this link into the uh, video description. You see that uh, basically like what are the skills is required and computer science fundamentals, shell scripting, any programming language, testing idea, database fundamentals like SQL and NoSQL, relational databases, you see that no non-relational databases like document, white column, graph, key value, and data warehouses, and also understanding about the data processing. This is the which I was talked in the, the video video, like batch, hybrid, and streaming, and messaging, workflow scheduling, monitoring the data pipelines, and infrastructure as the code, and CI, CID, continuous integration, continuous development, and finally data security and privacy. And also like nice to have the good knowledge on the Tableau, Grafana, Looker, Jupyter Notebook, Microsoft Power BI, and this is called like you are going to visualize the data. And also like, uh, and also idea about the fundament, uh, fundamentals on the machine learning to give more idea about and machine learning operations, that's where like MLOps comes. But it is not 100% is needed, but sometimes you may work into the AI projects and that time the, the, the companies may use the cube. Uh, Qflow and MLflow or Amazon SageMaker, Google AI platforms, definitely like when it comes to the cloud, we need to get some idea about these tools as well. So hope all this content which is helpful to you, hope you are liking this content and uh, you write your questions into the comment box, definitely I will answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching this video.